Hi everybody, it's really nice to be able to share and connect with you and to give you some words of encouragement um, today, Wednesday, middle of the week. I hope uh, this message finds you well and at peace with God. Um, when Jez invited me to uh, make a short video for today, uh, I naturally began to reflect on the last couple of weeks, in fact the last couple of months. As some of you are aware, back at the beginning of February um, I had some surgery and a requirement of that was that I would need quite a lot of time off work, about 11 to 12 weeks. Um, so I was already kind of beginning to get my head round what uh, my life might look like for that period, um, mindful that I wouldn't be rushing around um, to and from work and getting caught up in lots of additional things, even things like driving. Um, and so I did begin to pray uh, quite earnestly um, because I was conscious that this was a, a special time for me um, to have that amount of time off work was a real opportunity to kind of refocus and to come closer to God and not be distracted by um, my normal crazy busy life. So um, as I came, as I came um, back from my operation and we went into lockdown, um, I prayed into that and been really blessed. And I wanted to just share some words of encouragement for you, um, just as you reflect probably over the last um, couple of months. Um, I really have been able to draw closer to God and really seeing the fruits of that. You know, I we know about it, we hear about it when it's preached about, you know, getting into your Bible more, um, your faith will deepen, but I'm really seeing the fruits of that. And I think it's really helped me through this period and it's drawn me closer to him um, I've been hugely encouraged and uplifted and have taken the time to look at messages and words of encouragement and texts that have been sent by other people in the church community perhaps things that I wouldn't have naturally picked up on um, or, or thought to prioritise um, if I'd been caught up in work as I normally would have done. Um, it's been a time of different priorities, a different pace. Um, in the latter few weeks, I've been able to go out and do some shopping for people and serve them. But I've also had the time to kind of watch my family and see the love and compassion and um, that they've been able to show um, over the last few weeks. Um, within our broader church community and local community as well and it's been a real blessing um, so despite the sort of pace change I've really been able to feel the presence of God and then when I feel anxious and challenged by our circumstances with the whole COVID-19 um, it's and and also in terms of knowing that other people uh, that I know and love and care for, whether that's in my family uh, or my church family, to know that they're going through difficult and challenging times, to know that um, God is with them has been really um, uplifting. And it's also just made me much more aware that peace isn't the absence of difficulties of pain or difficulties or pain, but it is the presence of God. And it is that presence of God that I would just encourage you to keep seeking um, at this time, especially as perhaps that we're coming out of um, a period of lockdown and um, and as a country and as families and individuals, we're going to have an to navigate our way back to uh, what the uh, media would call perhaps norm, um, the new normal. What's our life going to be like in three weeks' time, two months' time? Where are we going to be? And it made me think as I came out of my period of um, absence from work, my sick leave, I've started back at work the last few weeks, and God has really challenged me to think about what I'm going to take back to my new normal. There are things that I do not want to lose from this time that I've had with God, this time where I've had less distractions, this time where actually I've had to lean into him and to rely on him more because A, I physically couldn't do things or B, you know, I was quite consumed by anxiety for lots of things, just as, as you will have been, I'm sure. Um, and I was, yeah, so I was reminded uh, by this, this piece that I read on the internet in the rush to return uh, 
to normal. Use this time to consider which parts of normal are worth rushing back to. And don't lose those things that actually God wants us to have as our norms. You know, if you've managed to spend more time with him over the last few weeks and months praying, if you've managed to connect and step out in faith and um, chat to your church community more, then that's amazing. Don't lose it. Uh, As strange as it may seem, having to sort of Zoom each other, um, you know, it has brought... You know, it has brought new challenges, but new opportunities. And I think it's been a real blessing. So I would encourage you, if perhaps you haven't considered joining us at church on a Sunday morning with Zoom, do do step out in faith, be brave and have a go. Um, And it'll be interesting to see when we physically connect back together in the coming months, um, how God blesses that and moves us forward. And yeah, so like I said, I I really feel God wants us to stop. He wants us to listen. He wants to know that he's there. He wants us to see that he's here in our situations and with whatever we're going through. And he wants us to be thankful. We are God's children. We have, despite our circumstances, have always got things to be thankful and grateful for. And it is that thankfulness and that gratefulness through God that transforms us and that demonstrates to the world and the greater community actually God's message of love and hope for us all. And so, yeah, so I'd just like to leave you with that and to read the verse. Um, I've taken it from the thankful card that we got as part of um, our church cultures that we've looked at in the past. And it says about gratitude, you know, gratitude, even in difficult times, the fact that gratitude empowers us to move forward and we will need to move forward. This is a time of transition for all of us. And in Philippians 4, God reminds us, because it says, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And thanksgiving comes from knowing the presence of God and the peace. It doesn't mean that we won't have challenges, doesn't mean that we won't feel sadness or anxiety or upset but it will renew our soul. It will restore our soul so that we can fulfill the purpose that God has given us as individuals as an, and as a church community. 